Dollar Hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Skyrim Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Old Hollow Chalet mod, which is being made by user Skyrim Boohoo. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely wonderful new player home for you to enjoy, which of course goes by the name Old Hollow Chalet, which is an absolutely gorgeous new home for you to enjoy in a beautiful idyllic setting and I mean just come on look at that thing it is magnificent and if you've ever wanted to live in some form of hobbit home well here's your opportunity in Skyrim now my one sort of thing I got about this mod even though it is beautiful and what I think the location wise well worth it for this as mentioned idyllic setting it is kind of out of the way of things in the middle of nowhere. Now, as for exactly where you find this, well, if we head on into the map, it is just to the north of the Talking Stone Camp and to the south of Orithheim. And that is where you'll find the Old Hollow Chalet. Now, of course, once you do find it, you've got the fast travel point you can use here. But besides that, I mean, yeah, it is just kind of out in the middle of nowhere for you to get to. But again, with fast travel, that's not too big an issue. So let's start talking about what all we do get with this lovely new player home and start with the exterior features. And the first is just on the bank of the river here. You do got yourself a chopping block if you need firewood. Though a um, slightly awkwardly placed one with that, uh, you know, bit of the hillside there. Now then, of course, we have our main patio here, though I don't know why I say main, it is the only patio location for this home, where you've got some nice seating, a table with some goblets for you to have a drink and enjoy that just, ah, uh, magnificent view. But for a bit more of a useful feature, on the edge of the patio here is 10 planters for you to use to grow whatever herbs or flowers you desire. So not only a useful feature, but you know, also does make for a nice visual when they're all nice and grown. It's, well, like you got a nice little flower planter in front of your patio. And even though it's not a useful one, I do kind of like just uh, the small detail of there being the chimney up here on the hill. It's, it's a small thing, but it amuses me. Now, uh, as for heading on inside, we've got, of course, this just beautiful round door for you to enjoy, as well as two small windows on either side that'll let out a little bit of light into the interior. So let's head on inside, where, of course, you're going to be greeted by a gorgeous entryway into this admittedly very small player home, and, of course, opening up into the main and only hall where everything is so it really is a player home meant for one to two followers though technically you can fit yourself and two followers inside this place with all the things you need now as for what all we do get here along the right hand side of this home you've got a nice little dining area with some interesting flowers to pick as well as some storage you also do have next to that a lovely little kitchen area next to that we've got I think my personal favorite thing in this entire place the enchanting area which is just gorgeous looking and does have a custom enchanting and staff enchanting station you then on the left hand side of the hall have your main sort of sleeping area here where it has one small single bed and a double bed and then sort of the main storage section of the whole place with a nice display stand a shrine and well plenty of storage and like I mentioned, this is a pretty small player home overall, as you can see here. Not a huge amount of space for you, but perfect for yourself and up to two followers and plenty of idle locations for them so they don't just don't stand around awkwardly. Now let's uh, start over on the right hand side again here where we do have this nice little seating area with a chest for you to open that will have a little bit something in there for you as well as some delicious dumplings for you to take and actual harvestable dragon's tongue if you so desire which is pretty cool I just like that little feature there it's very nice with the vines and all. Now, we head downstairs, we do have this kitchen, which, of course, does have an oven, a lovely cooking pot, and my favorite part about the kitchen, 
A custom alchemy lab. I always do love custom workstations. And this one's a pretty cool little one where we just come up to this book and boom, there you go. You can do your alchemy. Now beyond that, we do, as you can see, have a number of things we can actually take here from honey, some potions, some jugs of milk, just some nice stuff to grab. But they are, of course, also your decorations, so, you know, maybe don't steal the books. I'll have a hard time with that one, but, you know, you know, it looks good. We also do have two strong boxes for you to do some storage in. Oh, it's nice. Now then, right here is that enchanting area, and I love it because it has this false back panel. But if you actually go to activate it here, well, nothing occurs. Nothing happens whatsoever. And that's because it's opened by this pull chain. And boom, you got yourself a hidden sorcerer's alcove. And I love that. Now, it does have some more books in here for you to use, a few scattered ingredients, a nice strong box, a chest... But the more important things is a Staff Enchanter here and an Arcane Enchanter here. Very cool indeed. I, I think this is by far my favorite part of this whole place because it just looks great. I love that it can be hidden away. It's just a neat little feature. Now, as for on the other side, like I mentioned, we do have the beds, the single and double bed. Now, the single bed actually does have a weapon rack here. So, if we would like to place an object there, very nice indeed for display. Oh, yeah, I always forget there's a little tarantula just kind of roaming around here. I Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Look at you, little buddy. He's our friend. He's the pet of this place, I guess. And uh, the double bed here, no display case in this one, but right next to it we do have a full-on display case where we can display our more nice things. Now, here in the storage area, we not only do have uh, some uh, great wardrobes for storing, we also, if I turn on my light for a bit more here, we've got a uh, search letters and scroll bit here for, you know, a little nice storage. We do also have a custom anvil, which is just this nice little work surface with a hammer, and a shrine to Debella. Now, up above it, we actually do have some shield racks, so you can pop up up to three shields up here for your decoration. And as for the main bit in the center, it is just a gorgeous fireplace with some nice seating. You do got yourself a shrine to Talos and bookshelves on either side, which in total will be able to hold 88 books, which is pretty neat. And all in all, this place is just gorgeous I love the look of it it may be a pretty small player home and maybe too small for some but I absolutely adore this thing especially with this little hidden compartment here it's just a fun neat little addition and I mean come on who doesn't love having their own throne to sit and enjoy a magnificent fire out here in the cold of Skyrim it's just a beautifully made basically hobbit home and I love it. So if you'd like to take a look at this one for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual, my friends. But yeah, that really is all there is to talk about with this one here today. So uh, I hope you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!